I have a book that's due to the library at the library today that I didn't read to you yet, so I'm going to read it to you now. Okay, and it's called The Girl Who Loved Wild Horses. Um, by Paul Goebel. Let me go a little closer. You still see the glare, though. Okay. Bright orange inside. Bright orange is red. Oh, these are cool pictures. The Girl Who Loved Wild Horses by Paul Goebel. Story and illustrations by Paul Goebel. These are very cool drawings. Scenes out west, Native Americans and the different colored horses and the wild um, scrub plants sort of in the desert near them here. Very cool outfit there. Are the drawings. These are these bison, also called buffalo, and people on horses. The people were always moving from place to place following the herds of buffalo. They had many horses to carry their teepees and all their belongings. They, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right because I've never seen them. That word spelled that way, so it might be a different word. But at any rate, they trained their fastest horses to hunt the buffalo. And they would use the buffalo for food and for clothing. And they killed a lot of buffalo. This is a cool drawing. These are very cool drawings. Look at how they did the wings. It's so cool how so many different artists start with the same thing, a piece of paper or a piece of canvas and they, and paintbrushes or pens and pencils or charcoal and they wind up with such very different things. That's one thing I love about children's books. With adult books, the writers do that with words. Every book is so different from every other book and it's all done with words because it's the same thing with words. There was a girl in the village who loved horses. She would often get up at daybreak when the word, when the birds were singing about the rising sun. She led the horses to drink at the river. She spoke softly and they followed. People noticed that she understood horses in a special way. She knew which grass they liked best and where to find them shelter from the winter blizzards. If a ho horse was hurt, she looked after it. She knows horses and understands horses. What they need, what they want. This is a beautiful drawing. I want to point out one other thing. It, they're like at, at a lake, so this is like their reflection in the water. Turtles in the water. Fish. Turtles getting a fish. Excuse me, I'll continue in a moment.